to this business. Looks like it's inside a button. There's a button. Yeah, font awesome. That is correct. So what the hey is font awesome. It's an awesome font. Yes, let's have a look. Font awesome. Usually we use that on the previous project, but we didn't this time. Font awesome. Get vector icons and social logos on your website with Font Awesome, the web's most popular icon set and toolkit. Now, this is the brand new icon, uh, Font Awesome 5, which has changed a little bit. Actually, it's changed a lot from Font Awesome 4. We're using Font Awesome 4 for simplicity's sake here. So it's not just a font anymore. But you know the difference between vector and bitmap images? Who knows the difference? Vector image. What's a vector image? What's an example of a vector image? What on earth am I talking about? So vector versus bitmap or vector versus raster. Bitmap or raster images are pixel-based. They say which pixels should be where and what color, what transparency, whatever. Vector images aren't pixels, they're math. So it says draw a line from here, curve it this way, etc. The upshot is they are resolution independent no matter how big they get, they continue to look good. They never get jagged edges. SVGs are vector images. We only want that thing to be about that big, but even if we make it huge, we don't suddenly see pixelated edges, right? It keeps looking smooth. That's because it's a vector image. It's described using math, not using pixels. The pings are not. Those are... Uh, those are raster images, although they're fairly big ones, so they keep using, they keep looking good for a while. Well, fonts are basically just vector images too. There's a little more data than just that, but they're vector images, which means you make your text really big, unless the font was designed to be blocky looking, it's not gonna start looking blocky, right? It's gonna look smooth. So before SVGs were widely supported, a good way to use vector images on the web was to put them in a font. And Font Awesome is, was one of those and uh, got really popular. So the way it worked was it was a font that had tons and tons of icons up in some unprinted Unicode characters that nobody ever uses. They're not used for emoji or anything. They're just way up there in the address space inside the font. So it's not like you type a W and you get you know, a picture of a car. There was an old font called Wingdings that kind of did that. Uh, that still comes with Windows, I think. Um, but you don't want Ws on the page. So it uses uh, just some Unicode space way up in the font and uh, puts a bunch of icons there. So that sounds like a pain in the neck to use, but they made it really easy. We've already included Font Awesome in this project. Um, if you look at app.css, I loaded in a couple of Google fonts, Fauna 1 and Oxygen, and I already loaded Font Awesome from CDNJS. If we got to CDNJS, let's just pretend we just got here. Start typing Font Awesome. As soon as we type font, Font Awesome is right there. There's a link to 4.70, Font Awesome Min CSS. Copy that, import it into your style sheet, and you have Font Awesome. And then you just need to use their styles that they give you in that style sheet. And at its simplest, you just use the I element because it's semantically meaningless. It was one that either Mosaic or Netscape added way back in the day uh, for italics, but we use EM or emphasis for italics because I is presentational and emphasis tells us what we're actually trying to do in a semantic way. So I is basically a meaningless but standard element. So we use it for icons now. So just give it a class name of FA, which tells it to use Font Awesome, and FA sign out, which tells it which icon to use. Now it has changed a little in Font Awesome 5. It got a lot more complicated, frankly. Um, if you look at icons, there are now free ones and there are pro ones. And to use the CDN, you have to go pro. 
Um, so it's just not quite as easy as it used to be um, to get started. There we go. Okay, no, you can. You totally can. Okay, good. I just never bothered to click on that. I actually have a pro license, um, but you don't. So I think so. I was part of a Kickstarter, so I think I get it forever, but it might be per year. It might be once. I don't remember. Um, but there's already, let's see. Free has 1,100 icons. There are 1,800 that are pro only. So there's more pro only than there are free ones total. So combine the two and pro get, you know, about 3,000 icons. And like emoji? Or what do you mean? Oh, like the logos? Well, they use a number of logos. I don't know exactly how they deal with the permission and stuff, but... Um, I mean, no one seems to mind that they're doing it. They've been doing it for years. Um, <laughs> I mean, I mean, really, they must, they must, they must kind of have implicit permission. Um, but yeah, there are lots of logos in there. So yeah, I mean, you shouldn't. If you're going to use it in your project, you can't misuse it. It doesn't matter where you got the resource. You could download the Apple logo from Apple's website. You're still not allowed to use it in certain ways. So uh, anyway, yeah, there are a bunch of logos in there. But lots of stuff that you might use if you're building an app. Like here we have our center, justify, align left, align right. So all kinds of good stuff. So here's the sign out icon that was in Font Awesome 4. Let's see if we've got a, a different one here. Sign out, there it is. Sign out, alt. Uh, sign in. So if that's sign out, alt, OK. Yeah, that's it. I wonder if there's a pro version of sign out. Oh. Yeah, I'm pro, we got all kinds of variations. We got uh, some lighter weights. We got some extra bold. We got an outline. Yeah. Tough. You can't have it. Pay up, sucker. So anyway, we're using the older version, but that's how you do it. And so if you look at that, if you inspect that thing, you'll see that the FA class does all this stuff. Display inline block, sets the font to font awesome sets the line spacing and stuff like that. And now I don't see what FA sign out is doing. That's because what FA sign out is doing is actually creating a pseudo element before and setting the content of that pseudo element to this Unicode character, this otherwise unprintable Unicode character, except there happens to be something in that address space in Font Awesome, and it is this icon right there. So we don't need to know that the character is this hex code. We just need to note that it's called sign out. So we put that class on there, and it uses that icon. And it's just like magic. Piece of cake. It's a font. It's awesome. It's font awesome. <laughs>